Eat. Well, good Sunday evening. Well, we've gone through the entire weekend now with rainfall all across the region. Finally, we are getting pretty much what all of October's rainfall is. So we're still actually below average because as we take a look at our map right now, estimated rainfall amounts over the last two days, which is how much it's been raining. We are looking at about three to four inches here in those reds and those oranges. Further up, we have those little darker yellows and greens. That's about an inch to two inches, and we're still having that rainfall across the region. So as we take a look across our area right now, most of us coming into those lower to mid 40s, still a lot of drizzle in some of those areas that we're starting to clear out right now. I'm starting to see that as we look at our radar. So there's that cold front that's been sagging slowly, dragging those showers with it as it goes. So as we look towards our area, you can see where those dry spots are, but the radar is fooling you a little bit. We are still seeing a lot of overcast and with that, a lot of drizzle. It's not really bringing any rain that's accumulating, but further down into our Kentucky and Tennessee counties, that's pretty much where the cutoff line is right around the river. So we are looking at some of those heavier showers over to southeast Missouri. I mentioned some of the areas of drizzle. We do have just into Fredericktown there, Madison County, over into Iron County as well, seeing some of those lighter showers starting to form and it's going to continue as we go through the evening hours. So playing this out for you, when will the rain stop? Well, it looks like early Monday morning. So if the kids are going out to the school bus, here we are six o'clock. It's going to be cool, breezy and still a few isolated showers possible even as we go into the early afternoon, primarily into our western Kentucky counties, anywhere from Callaway County and upwards. Now I've marked here where areas by the afternoon into your Monday will be seeing that clearing out areas down into western Kentucky and southern Illinois, pretty much right on the Ohio River border there, staying mighty cloudy areas up to the north. We are going to be watching for some clearing out, but breezy conditions as those winds from the northeast get that low out of here, and we're going to be looking at winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 25. So it's going to be pretty cool, especially as temperatures top out into those mid 40s. We'll notice the clouds coming back in as we go to the evening hours. Those winds don't really disappear, but what comes in right behind it, almost like magic, rain gets out, cool air comes right on in, but then there's a secondary cold front, brings even even cooler air, and that's going to be quite a shock to the system. So because of that cool air moving in, we actually have freeze warnings in effect. We actually have this area in this lighter blue. That's our freeze watch encompassing all the counties in our region. That will start going into October 31st. That's Halloween. It's going to be really cold waking up. So if you're just finishing up your touches to decorating, well, I should have warned you about this about a week ago that we're still dealing with the gusty winds and the cooler temperatures. We do have one freeze warning there in effect for Madison County in southern uh, Missouri. And we could even see that extend into southern Illinois as well. But there's still a lot of things up in the air. Speaking of up in the air, we have over 2000 miles of those watches and warnings stretching across the United States. And it's all because of our temperatures into the morning hours will be dipping like I showed you in that cold front coming through by Tuesday, by Wednesday, temperatures in the morning. You're going to want to heat the car up before you take your kids to your school because temperatures are going to be into those 20s and 30s, and we're going to slowly start to rise by the time we get to next week. But we're still looking at temperatures in the morning into the 30s. So on our threat tracker, yeah, the heavy rain still continuing in some areas as we go through the night. We are going to continue to be breezy, cold on Halloween. But guys, some of you wish for changes in the weather and this is a new development. I mentioned that cold front that goes through Tuesday. That's right. That's a possible snow flurry on the back end of that. So hopefully we start to see some things clearing out and it looks like we really do clear out as we go into Tuesday evening. But hey, it might just be a little area of drizzle. It still looks a little warm, but with those cooler temperatures coming in on the back end of that cold front, only Mother Nature herself can tell you. So download that Storm Track 3 app as we're tracking a lot of different changes when it comes to your forecast, and we're always tracking. So if you are going out for Halloween, just bundle up and keep that costume warm. It's going to be beautiful and dry after that, but still pretty breezy. Yes, please put some hand warmers in those costumes too. It'll help. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you're going as Olaf, you'll get a flurry if that. Hey, so. <laughs> want to build a snowman in October. <laughs> Thanks, Emily.